For as long as any of us can remember, we've been told the path to financial success runs straight through higher education. Get that college degree, secure that prestigious white collar job title, and make six figures before you're 30. That's the script we've been fed our whole lives. And on the surface, it makes sense, right? Lawyers, doctors, bankers, those career paths signal status and wealth potential like no other. So we pour years and tens of thousands of dollars into qualifications, internships, and entry-level roles, all so we can climb that imaginary ladder of career prestige. Meanwhile, blue-collar jobs like garbage collection get tossed aside as the domain of low-wage, dead-end jobs. After all, who wants to build a career lugging trash bags around in the blazing sun day after day, right? There must be easier routes to a good life than that. But here's the revelation many of us never see coming. According to recent salary data, the average garbage collector in major U.S. cities is earning over $80,000 per year before overtime is even factored in. And considering garbage doesn't stop generating just because the workday ends, overtime is plentiful, tacking on an additional 50 to 100% to annual pay. When you crunch the numbers, it's not uncommon to find sanitation workers raking in $100,000, $150,000, or even more in total compensation. All while many professionals with degrees are barely clearing half that after years of student loans and dues paying. So what gives? How can a job scooping trash seemingly earn better than careers we're constantly told are the guaranteed ticket to big money? That, my friends, is the central question we aim to answer today. From a young age, the message is drilled into our heads. Go to college, get a degree, and earn a high salary. There's an almost singular focus placed on the pathway of higher education leading directly to career success. But what often gets left out of the conversation is any real consideration for the many alternatives. We're conditioned to view prestige and status through the narrow lens of traditional, white-collar professions like doctors, lawyers, and executives. Careers in technology, finance, and other corporate fields are painted as the surest bets. As a result, fields outside this narrow scope get automatically discounted. Blue-collar work is cast as low-skilled, low-wage drudgery that people only turn to as a last resort. Why bother entertaining the idea of a job in construction, manufacturing, and sanitation when a college degree promises so much more? With this theoretical straight line laid out before us, it's no wonder practical smaller options get ignored. We dismiss jobs like plumbing, electrical work, and waste management without a second thought, assuming their salary ceilings are miserably low. After all, these careers don't come with the sharply dressed prestige or perfect for LinkedIn job titles of aspired white collar paths. As a consequence, the perceived allure and glamour of those stereotypical, large careers drive many students to pursue degrees that carry a risk of poor return on investment or lack of personality fit, taking on heavy tuition debt without thoroughly exploring various options. So, we find ourselves being led down paths that prioritize abstract notions of status over meaningful career satisfaction or financial feasibility. We tend to prioritize impressive resume lines over flexibility, job security, or potential for wealth accumulation in fields that are not in the spotlight. As a result, we miss out on opportunities that were perhaps right in front of us the whole time. The job of a garbage collector may seem undesirable to some, but the compensation package for these essential workers is actually quite solid. In terms of base pay, the average annual salary for a garbage collector or waste disposal worker in the United States ranges from $33,000 to $58,000, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. However, this figure does not include the substantial overtime many waste management employees receive. Since trash and recycling cannot wait to be picked up, overtime opportunities in the industry are abundant. Collectors are often eligible to be paid between 1.5 to 2 times their normal hourly wage for any hours worked beyond 40 in a single week. Working extra time slots is common, allowing collectors to significantly boost their take-home pay each year through overtime premiums alone. In the waste management industry, employees usually receive good benefit packages. 
health insurance is a common offering, with most companies contributing generously towards coverage costs. However, workers typically have to pay a portion of the monthly premiums themselves. Insurance plans usually include deductibles and copays for medical services. Policies may allow for the addition of family members, but dependent coverage may require extra premium contributions from employees. Retirement plans have changed over time. While some larger, unionized waste haulers still offer traditional defined benefit pensions, these are becoming less common. Nowadays, most companies offer defined contribution retirement plans similar to a 401k. Employer contributions are typical, often matching a percentage of employee contributions up to a set limit. For workers participating in these plans, benefits depend on investment performance and contribution amounts over their careers. When you add up everything like insurance savings and the lifelong pension, trash pickup jobs can compete with careers needing lots of school and student debt. Because of the constant demand for overtime hours needed to complete pickup schedules, experienced garbage collectors routinely earn annual salaries surpassing $100,000, even before accounting for additional benefits like health insurance. In fact, some of the highest paid waste management workers take home salaries exceeding $150,000 per year. This consistent reliance on overtime to finish essential work drives pay far higher than normally expected given the general job duties, well into very comfortable five- and six-figure incomes. Many local governments and trash collection companies mandate that employees obtain a commercial driver's license to operate large garbage trucks. Obtaining a CDL through on-the-job training adds tangible value as it makes workers eligible for a wide range of truck driving roles both within and outside the waste industry. This provides valuable skills and qualifications that collectors can transfer to different roles in other industries if they ever want to change careers. Jobs in the public sector fields like waste management also offer exceptionally strong job security. The work will always need to get done, even during economic downturns, ensuring income stability when positions in the private sector may be at risk. Powerful unions such as the Teamsters have negotiated contracts that ensure waste salaries continue increasing annually through vehicles like agreed-upon raises. While day-to-day -day responsibilities remain largely the same, compensation grows steadily over a long career. Additionally, multi-employer pension plans and benefits secured by unions deliver peace of mind that few outside government employment can match, protecting living standards through retirement. Taking into account the opportunities for plentiful overtime work, development of transferable skills, employment security, union-negotiated raises, and retirement benefits, waste management stands out as an extremely well-compensated career path, deserving serious consideration as a smart vocational option. Salaries may be a significant factor when considering a job, but in the long run, job satisfaction is what matters the most. Have you ever thought about choosing a career path that aligns with your strengths and interests, rather than just focusing on the perceived status of the job? If so, I would love to hear about your own career journey. Please share your insights and perspectives on this below. Many important points can be taken away from learning about the high incomes attainable in waste management and similar fields. It shows how jobs often dismissed as lower paying have the potential to unexpectedly lead to very high earnings through factors such as consistent overtime work, on-the-job skills training, and strong union protections. People should not rule out occupations seen as smaller without thorough research into real salary and benefits details. While a career's listed salary may seem ordinary, it's important to also consider comprehensive benefits packages and stability as costly employer-provided health insurance can notably raise a worker's spendable income versus the stated pay. Vocational trades involving manual labor, furthermore, should not automatically disqualify those careers from consideration. Skilled blue-collar jobs regularly result in six-figure salaries for experienced laborers, proving the misconception that such paths can't equal high-earning potential. Lessons also come from seeing where high wages are possible within certain industries, such as reliable overtime turning many garbage collectors into six-figure earners due to demands that extra work gets done regularly. The long-term outlook for a career path holds great importance as well when deciding on fields. Some jobs may not appear glamorous, but compensate very well over a lifetime through avenues like union pension plans after 20-plus years of service. Higher education is not the sole route to achieving financial security or comfort. 
employee training programs, on-site apprenticeships, and certifications provide viable means to solid careers for those willing to use mind and body alike in their work. The rewards attainable in waste management truly expose preconceived judgments of limitations in any job as short-sighted, emphasizing how all industries deserve fair consideration for lifetime income potential. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and consider watching our other videos right here.